According to a new rumor, Qualcomm's upcoming flagship chipset, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, is poised to deliver a significant performance boost over the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. This next-generation chip is expected to feature custom ARM cores designed by Qualcomm itself, likely with a different core configuration that eliminates the efficiency cores. Rumors suggest that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 will include two big cores and six medium cores, utilizing TSMC's 3M process. Qualcomm has confirmed that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 will be unveiled in October, with speculation suggesting that Xiaomi will be the first to release a smartphone powered by this chip. Initial reports hinted at significant outperformance over its predecessor, but early benchmark scores from an engineering sample suggested only a modest improvement. However, Chinese leaker Digital Chat Station has reassured that the prototype used a lower frequency version of the chip. According to the latest information, the cores in the current version of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 run between 3.6 GHz and 4.0 GHz. Leak benchmark scores show the chip achieving around 2,700 points in the single-core test and 10,000 points in the multi-core test. While this marks a substantial increase compared to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3-powered Galaxy S24 Ultra, it still falls short of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. These results challenge rumors that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 would surpass the performance of Apple's upcoming A18 Pro chip. However, Qualcomm likely has some final optimizations to make, which could improve these benchmark scores before the official release. Digital Chat Station also mentioned that the first phone powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, expected to be the Xiaomi 15, will be launched in mid-October. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. We're now going to run through the full specs design and the expected pricing to help you guys decide if it is worth the wait for my regular viewers. You guys have seen this so just skip to the next video, but if you're new here then hit subscribe now and we'll get right into it. So with the Galaxy S25, equipped with a 6.2 inch 120Hz dynamic AML LED display boasting a resolution of 2340x1080, shielded by Gorilla Glass Victus 2 for durability. For selfies, there's a 12 megapixel punch hole front camera. Turning to the back, the phone features a 50 megapixel primary camera a 12-megapixel ultra-wide lens, and a 10-megapixel telephoto lens. It will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 or possibly the Exynos 2500. The device offers 8 gigs of RAM with storage choices of 128 gigs or 256 gigs, utilizing UXS 4.1 technology. The Galaxy S25 houses a 4000 mAh battery supporting 25 dB fast charging. Connectivity options include 5G support, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7. Operating on One UI 6.1 based on Android 14, the phone is expected to be released in January 2025 with an estimated price range of $800. Now let's introduce the Galaxy S25 Plus, featuring an impressive 6.7-inch 120Hz dynamic AMOLED display with an upgraded Quad HD Plus resolution of 3088x1440. It incorporates Samsung's advanced M13 OLED panel safeguarded by Gorilla Glass Victus 2 and reinforced with aluminum 2.0 for added durability. For selfies, a 12-megapixel punch hole camera takes the spotlight. On the back, you'll find a powerful camera setup with a 50-megapixel primary lens, a 12-megapixel ultra-wide lens, and a 10-megapixel telephoto lens. It's equipped with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 or the Exynos 2500. The phone offers a substantial 12 gigs of RAM with storage choices of 256 gigs or 512 gigs, utilizing UFS 4.1 technology. The Galaxy S25 Plus features a robust 4,900 mAh battery supporting 45 dB fast charging. Connectivity options include 5G support, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7. Operating on One UI 6.1 based on Android 14, the expected price for this device is around $1,150. Finally, let's explore the flagship of the lineup, the Galaxy S25 Ultra, showcasing a generous 6.9-inch 120Hz dynamic AMOLED display with a crisp resolution of 3088x1440. It incorporates Samsung's advanced M13 OLED panel safeguarded by the durable Gorilla Glass Victus 2. For capturing stunning selfies, there's a 12-megapixel punch hole camera. 
On the back, the phone features an outstanding camera setup, including a 200 megapixel primary lens, a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens, a 50 megapixel 3x telephoto lens, and a 10 megapixel telephoto lens with an impressive 10x optical zoom. Contrary to earlier rumors, it is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 across all regions, distinguishing it from the S24 and S24 Plus, which stick with the Exynos. The S25 Ultra offers a substantial 12 gigs of RAM with storage choices of 256 gigs, 512 gigs, and 1 TB, leveraging UFS 4.1 technology. Housed within is a robust 5,000 mAh battery supporting Swift 45V fast charging. Connectivity features encompass 5G support, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7. Operating on One UI 6.1 based on Android 14, this premium device is anticipated to launch with an approximate price tag of $1,199. Take all this info with a pinch of salt. If you find any mistakes or missing information in the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra specifications, please tell us. We're working hard to make sure everything is accurate, but sometimes errors can happen. Your feedback helps us improve. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section.